the weather can change pretty dramatically. And this is in the range of relatively mild changes. Sometimes the changes are a lot more extreme. This is what happens when you have a body. You're subject to the elements outside. So you have to realize that the happiness that depends on the body is not one that's going to be one that you can really trust. You have to look inside the mind. You have to develop the qualities you need in the mind to be happy, whatever happens to the body. That's a really necessary skill. You think if they taught necessary things in school, this would be one of the number one things we'd need to learn, how not to suffer from the changes in the body. But in school they're not concerned with teaching us the things that we really need to know for our own our well-being of the mind. They have other agendas, other priorities. But we can make this our priority. We've got to learn this skill. So when the body ages, the mind doesn't get upset. When the body grows old, excuse me, when the body gets ill, it doesn't get upset. When it dies, if you can be a, in a good mood when you die, okay, you're in a much better position than most of the world. So look into these qualities. How strong is your mindfulness? How strong is your alertness? How strong is your concentration and your discernment? These are the things that will carry you through. These are the things that will protect you. Because when the body is born, it's not only exposed, but it's also got a lot of lack. We need food, we need clothing, we need shelter, we need medicine. All the more reason that we need to find something inside where there is no lack, when the mind has a sense of enough. When you can develop that skill, okay, then you've got something that can protect you wherever you go. So it's not just the dangers from outside, the dangers in the body, and even the dangers in the mind. These are the things we've got to watch out for. This is why the Buddha's last teaching was to be heedful. Notice he didn't say, accept. How many people say this is the Buddha's main teaching, which is just accept the way things are? That's not the way he was. He basically railed against the way things are, but he made use of the way things are. The way things normally are, people have just birth, aging, illness, and death over and over again. And there's a lot of suffering right there. He wanted to find a way out of that suffering. And so his last teachings were to be heedful and to be heedful in achieving completion. In other words, you realize that there's still something lacking here and you need to make up the lack. So always keep that thought in mind. It's what motivates us to look into the present moment. We're not looking into the present moment because the present moment is okay. It's because we're, this is where the work needs to be done. And the results will come now and on into the future.